My name is Dr Ian Douglas. I'm an Associate Professor of Pharmacoepidemiology at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. We found some interesting results a couple of years ago. Some people did some laboratory experiments using cell lines and mice. What they'd found was that exposure to lansoprazole, which is a proton pump inhibitor, seemed to offer massive protection against tuberculosis, whilst two comparator proton pump inhibitors, both omeprazole and pantoprazole, had no activity at all. And this was a really surprising finding. It's not something we would have associated with that drug. So there was no evidence in humans. So we decided that a natural experiment could be done and we could compare people who'd been prescribed lansoprazole against people who'd been given both pantoprazole or omeprazole and to see whether or not the rates of tuberculosis were different in these groups of patients. And these were essentially the first findings in humans. So it's the first time that this question had been asked using data involving real patients. We realised that we would need a very large data set to look at this question. Because we're not looking at people being given lansoprazole because they've got tuberculosis, we were looking to see whether as an incidental finding we could see whether people given lansoprazole were, had a lower rate of TB. And we knew that TB in the UK is going to be quite a rare occurrence. So we knew that we'd need a very large data set. We knew that CPRD could give us that in terms of the exposure. And we also knew from previous work that tuberculosis is quite well recorded in CPRD. We know that the rates that you capture within CPRD are pretty much the same as we see in national surveillance figures. So we knew the data were reliable. So now we've added to this body of evidence. So we started with evidence based on cell lines and mice, and now we've got this first evidence in humans. And all of it seems to point in the same direction that lansoprazole might have this unexpected protected effect against TB. And so we believe that the, the natural next step should be that a randomized trial should be done to see whether or not the findings that we've seen also translate to the treatment of TB when people actually develop the illness.